Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really exciting to share with you all. As you may already know, I'm constantly on the lookout for ways to enhance my workflow. Well, today I want to introduce you to an amazing community plugin called PCAD that takes note-taking automation to a whole new level. In this video, I will show you how PCAD can revolutionize the way you take notes. So let's dive right in. All right, so the first step is to install the PCAD plugin. And to do that, you just need to go to the settings, community plugin, browse, search for quick add, install, enable. And once installed, click on option. And this is where magic happens. The first thing to do here to start using this amazing plugin is to add an element that in quick add is called choice. You can add four different choices, template, capture, macro, and multi. Let's start from the template choice. This choice will not replace the community plugin templater or the core plugin template. They just work together for more possibilities. But before we create a template, I just need to add here the path to the folder where templates are stored. And for me is templates. For example, let's create a template for our daily note. Add choice and click here to go to the settings. First of all, it's mandatory to choose the path to the template you want to insert, and we can use the template daily template. After that, you have some optional settings. Here, you can specify a format for the file name, allowing you to have dynamic names. So this will be a daily note template. So the name could be our today's date. And to do that, you just need to write something like this date and the format of the date that for me is this one here and as you can see the file will have a name like this now here you can decide in which folder the file will be created and let's say that i want the file in my journal daily folder and i click on add with append link here you can automatically create a link to the new created file inside the file you are currently in you also have the possibility to increment the file name with a number if a file with the same name you want to use already exists this is not the case since we are using a new date every day so i will keep this option disabled and with the last three option I will tell to quick add to open the created file. To open it in a, a new split, I can decide if vertical or horizontal. I will stay with vertical for now. And to focus the opened tab. Let's try our first quick add template. And to do that, you just need to open your command palette and search for quick add, run quick add and daily note. And here we go. You have your daily note on the right you have the template already inserted in and the note will be here inside the daily folder now i just want to show you something but first let me delete the file here and close the tab we had to open the command palette search for quick add click on run quick add and click again on daily note but now let me delete this again if you go to the settings and you enable this little thunder icon here and you go back to your command palette and search for quick add now the daily note template will be a command inside the command palette so you just need to click this and you will have your notes on the right now let's jump to the next choice the capture choice Okay, I really like this feature because it allows you to quickly capture your input and save it. For example, I use it for my daily log. So before we start, just let me add a daily log section here in my daily note template. Daily log. Okay, let's close it and go back to our settings and create our daily log capture we need to choose a file to capture to 
and I will choose our daily note. So here I will simply write the path. And for me is journal slash daily slash. And then I add the format that I choose for my daily note. So for me is three bracket date and this format here. You can also decide to create the file if it doesn't exist. And if this happens, you also want to be sure to use the right template. So here you just need to write the daily template. You can automatically format the input as a task and you can decide to write the input at the bottom of the file. And if you don't specify this, it will be written at the top. You can add a link on your current cursor position, linking to the file you are capturing to, or you can insert a capture after a specific line. I choose this and I will specify the heading to that I created before. So it will be daily log. I want to insert the capture at the end of the section and here you can choose to open the file where we are sending our inputs but i don't want to do that and here lastly you can add a format for our captured input so i can write something like curly brackets date and then the hours and the minutes so we can see the time when we capture these inputs then i can add a little arrow here and the value of the input also remember to create a new empty line by hitting return so let's try this capture first of all i will enable the command and then I have to delete the note here and create a new one. So we will have the daily log section here and I just close it. Okay. Now, if I open the command palette and search for daily log and I can write here capture one. Okay. And I do the same daily log capture two. Now, if I open my daily note, I will have my inputs right inside the daily log section. You can also add the shortcut for this command, of course, so you will be even faster. But now it's time to see the most advanced choice, the macro. Macros are powerful tools that allow you to execute any sequence of Obsidian commands and user JavaScript scripts. In this video, I will skip the JavaScript thing since it can be too complicated, but I tell you that I actually don't use any complicated macros. I mostly use the template and the capture choices. Anyway, let's create a daily macro here. Add choice. And let's suppose that we want to create a daily note using the template choice we created before automatically when we open Obsidian. But first, let me delete the note here so you can actually see the result. And I will change here the new split behavior from the daily note template. And if you click here, you can manage the macro. So I add the daily macro and jump into the option. And here I can choose the choice that I want to use inside my macro. And for this example, I will use the daily note template and I click add. Now this button here allows you to insert a delay between one command and another. And for example, we want to split down the daily note. That's the reason why I removed the vertical split on the template. And here you just need to search for split down and add. Lastly, since we want to automatically run this command once we open Obsidian, we just need to click here on manage macros and enable run on plugin load. 
And now, if I close Obsidian and reopen it, as you can see, Quick Add just created automatically the daily note and splitted it down. Lastly, we have the multi choices that I honestly don't use, and they are just folder for the other choices. So let me create one and you can drag and drop inside the folder. As you can see, QuickCAD is a game changer when it comes to automating your note-taking workflow. It saves you time and allows you to focus on what really matters, your thoughts and ideas. So if you are an Obsidian user looking to take your note-taking experience to the next level, I highly recommend giving QuickCAD a try. Trust me, you won't regret. And that's it for today's video. Make sure to follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium for more productivity and PKM content. Also, I want to remember you that if you sign up to Paperless Movement through my iCore Expert page, you will have a three-day trial to unlock an amazing digital note-taking course and much more. As always, you will find all these links in the description down below. I hope you found this video about QuickCAD helpful and inspiring. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos about productivity, not taking and PKM. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.